yeah. <laughs> You're amazing. Okay, I have something for us. I started to write a letter to you at this moment, and I decided that way better than anything that I could put out, that I wanted us just to read Ephesians 3. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And, and to, to know, know this love that surpasses knowledge. And this is immeasurably more than all I could have asked or imagined. Me too. Look. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go get your guy. I, Adam, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I, Emily, take you, Adam, to be my husband. No, no matter, matter the, the circumstance. circumstance. For, for richer, richer or for poor. poor in, in sickness, sickness and, and in health, to serve, to serve you, you with tenderness and respect, and respect to speak, speak and, and to listen, to encourage and develop God's, God's gift in you, to forgive you as, as we, have, we been have been forgiven, to be loyal to you with my whole being until we are parted by death. By death. I promise this before God and all, all who are gathered here. here. So now, as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Adam, you may kiss your bride. So now, Adam, you get to be the Ron to her Hermione, the Iron Man to her Pepper Potts, the McDreamy to her Meredith, <laughs> the Roy Kent to whatever his girlfriend's name is, um, and the Schmeagol to her Precious. <laughs> I'd never seen him so intent. He responded to her texts in less than the standard three to five business days. 